My name is Cindy Mendoza, and my play is called The Courage I Had. I'm in the eighth grade at Lincoln Multicultural Middle School. I got the idea for this play when I wrote the character Thomas's first monologue, and from there, the idea just became into a play now known as The Courage I Had. My advice to other young people who are interested in writing and plays, your imagination can become more powerful than you think. I hope, in a, I hope that in the future I will be able to get more things done in school so I can get to be what I want later in life. And now I hope you enjoy my play the first time. New York, New York. That's where I was raised and born. My mother passed away a few years ago, and since my older brother Bob and my older sister Mary moved away, I'm stuck here with my dad and his cat Perry. I have business, aka work, to do ever since my dad retired, and I have college where I'm studying criminology, and I attend to it often. My only time to relax is barely on the weekends. Sometimes I'll get called into work, which is basically working on the NYPD, and I'll have class where I have to continue working on my education on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, another great day, spending money, making food, spending time with Perry. <laughs> and having to wait for Thomas to come home so we can spend more time with each other. We didn't do much together before. It was mostly my wife I'd spend lots of time with. Today my plans for Thomas with, today my plans with Thomas are to go on a trip to northern New York, which means we get to go around Buffalo and Poughkeepsie. Thomas is usually busy with work, but this weekend is gonna be a blast because we're going to Poughkeepsie and I can see my favorite 1960s rock band. <laughs> Thomas, you're finally home, and I can't wait to tell you where we're going to go starting today. <laughs> Yay. So, first we're gonna drive through western New York and turn around all those routes following until we get to northern New York. <laughs> wait, what? What are you talking about? You never announced the trip. Well, yes I did. I announced it when we were at dinner on Friday. Oh, you probably didn't hear me because you were too busy texting your friends while we were at dinner. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I realize that I have to work this whole entire month. No day is free. busy last month, I planned another trip that we can go on finally, hopefully. Dad, I know you've been planning all these wild trips, but I can't go on this trip with you. Why don't you take the neighbors or, or, or Perry? I, I don't know, but I can't go because my boss, he hasn't been coming to work lately and he put me in charge of everyone, so you know. Okay, son, I understand you have work, but can't you put someone else in charge and come on the trip with me? It wouldn't hurt to cancel a few days, because what I feel like is we haven't been spending much time together these past few months, and I feel like I'm becoming less important to you. It's like you're avoiding me or hiding something. Well, I can feel something going wrong at certain points of time when I talk to you. It's like you're making up ridiculous excuses dealing with work. Look, I'm sorry, I just can't. I have to go. Hey, 
what's up? Hey. Well, what's wrong? Nothing, why? You're just sitting there doing nothing. Have you made a final decision about your move to DC? I, I don't know. So, how's your dad? <laughs> He's great. Well, you see, I haven't exactly told him yet, oh. and it's stressing me out. But he's always talking about some trips he has planned. You need to tell him soon, or else it's going to be too late to tell him. I know, but... I... Well, why don't you go on his trips with him? The reason I don't go on his trips is because I want to take some time off work and, and off school and, and spend time with my friends, you know? With you and, and Kelly and the others. My dad... He's always talking about his life and, and his future and what he's going to do later on. He, he never gives me a chance to talk about myself and about, about what I want to do in the future. Well, why don't you take a break and have a small conversation with him? It's tough. Just make sure you tell him soon, okay? That's the important thing. All right, I've got to go. See you later. What's this? This is for all the trips we've missed. I don't think I can do this anymore. What? Dad, the reason why I can't go on your trips with you and why you've been suspecting these weird actions from me is I've been planning to move to Washington, D.C. That's why I can't go on these trips with you. Dad, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to say it like that, but it's been hard, you know? I, I took a job in Washington, D.C. working for the government, and I'll be away from New York for a very long while and probably be leaving you. Why didn't you say so before, in the first place? Ever since Mom died and Mary and Bob moved away, I realized it's hard to tell you this because, because I kind of promised to mom that I would be the one to take care of you because you're old and you've retired. Okay. Look, son, I understand. I realize you're no longer my little boy, but I just can't let go of the fact that your kids grow up so fast. And I don't give you a chance to live your life. I've just thought of it, and I realize that it's time for you to go on and carry on with your life. I guess I was just too afraid to remain here alone until my death, but <laughs> I guess it's that time. So go on. Promise me you'll be okay with all of this? Yes. Goodbye, son. Good luck. All right, I'll come back and visit when I have a chance to get to New York. Say goodbye to Perry for me. Okay. Farewell, son. I'm so proud of you. Again, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, then. Okay. I was wondering if I could book a flight. Sure, where to? Um, what flights do you have available right now to DC? There is just one flight available to Washington DC and it has about three hours until it boards. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna think about it for a second, then come back really quick and tell you if I want that flight, okay? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Have you made your decision? Yes. Thank you. Have a nice day. We're here. Come on, Perry. Hey, what's up? What? Dad? What are you doing here? I, I thought we talked about I know you. what we agreed on, but before you go on this whole rant about me following here, let me explain to you exactly what I'm doing here. Since you moved on, I realize we all have a life to live. A life that we have to make the best out of, because we only get one chance to do what we desire to do. That's what I learned from you. I'm not here to mess with you or anything. I just wanted to tell you that I'm finally starting my journey. Journey? What are you talking about? Oh, I, I decided to take a huge journey around the world. You know, since I love traveling, so why not try something out? I took your advice on me actually going out there and trying to do something I want to. Washington, D.C. is just the first stop of my journey, and I'm going to explore it. Then, I'm headed off to Australia, and Asia, and maybe Europe. Well, that's great, Dad. That, that's a great start to your journey. You'll get to travel to many weird and cool places that you've never been before, and, <laughs> and the best part about it is you'll be with your best buddy, Perry. <laughs> and you'll get to meet lots of cool and interesting people, too. I I'm excited for you, Dad. Thanks, son. I just wanted to tell you that. And also for you to know that you're the inspiration for all this. My dream is now a great passion that I'm now living. So thank you, son. Well, I better get going before I get you in trouble with your boss from stopping you from doing your paperwork. <laughs> well, farewell, son. Wish me luck. Oh, hey, send me some lovely postcards if you can. Have fun. Listen. Bye. <laughs>